professional conflict management is a survey course that looks at the roots and origins of conflict, the sources of intractability of conflict, and then uh, explores all the different responses that are possible to uh, international violent conflict. It's a wide-ranging survey. We, we cover different topics each week. Uh, students do a lot of reading, and uh, they participate in the class by briefing on the readings they've done. His understanding of conflict, conflict prevention is that it aims to sort of keep tensions and disputes from escalating into armed conflict, strengthen capabilities of parties to resolve the disputes peacefully, and also reduce underlying drivers of disputes and tensions. I've worked uh, in a number of U.S. administrations uh, as either a policy analyst or a diplomat, mediator, negotiator um, <clears throat> in the State Department throughout the 1980s, for example. So that was that was uh, part of my background. But I've also done a lot of writing about it and, and uh, trying to see if, having done some things in practice, if I can do them in theory. I, I just think if you don't know what theoretical baggage you carry around in your head, either acknowledged or unacknowledged, then you really won't know where you're going. So it's, it's helpful to be a little self-conscious about your assumptions. The reason that there are uh, violent conflicts that go on and on in many cases is because the people with the power, the decision makers, are more comfortable with the continuation of the conflict than they are with the risks that are involved in trying to resolve the conflict. Who, who would you imagine are the top ranking mediators in the international system right now among states? Mara, you're not allowed to answer that. <laughs> you're taking my other plans. <laughs> um, it's like the U.S. Like U.S. is the mediator. U.S. is up there in the top yep. three or four. Yeah, yeah. but Norway. Norway. Yeah entry-level jobs in conflict management are not that common. But almost any job that involves international relations is going to get you into arenas where there are conflicts, either actual conflicts or potential conflicts. Some of what we're talking about is, pr is prevention. Some of it is actual management of hot conflicts, um, resolution of conflicts in the sense of negotiation and mediation. And then what happens um, <coughs> and the war to peace transition. What happens if you get to the point of settlement or of regime change or something like that? How do you help a country get back on its feet? Graduates from this program who have taken my class are, are spread all over the place and doing work in the private sector, the public sector, the NGO sector, and so on. Um, which is great. I, I like hearing from students who, who landed on their feet someplace and, and are enjoying what they're doing or are looking for a career change. I hear from them too. <laughs>